Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to use this data set we did last time for deploying an XG boost with the default mono monitor. Only we're going to do something different. We're going to create a workflow. Okay, so read it and then clean it with the label encoder fill in A. Then you're going to merge them together. And then you're going to save it. And then you're going to... Well, we create the bucket over in one file, because here's the whole thing. This is a workflow. Okay, so make this file directory just as it is. Then we go into pipelines. And then... Uh, Here's where we're going to create the bucket. As you can see, it succeeded in the first step. Okay, so for pipelines, as usual, we create a bucket execution role. And then uh, name this kind of whatever you want. It doesn't matter as long as you change it on the other end. Get pipeline, even though we're not going to use it for churn, we're going to use it for something else. This is your pipeline definition. Start the pipeline every time it fails or something happens. You always do pipeline start again. And as you can see, it succeeded in the tuning job. Succeeded on the first step. Still continuing. Okay. Now let's go to diabetic model. We're not going to actually deploy it. So install this. Okay. And then don't forget to define the bucket you just made on the other IPYMB file. Then we're going to get into those Python files. Okay, DF equals read and then split them. And then just like we normally build a model, only we're going to hyper-tune the parameters before we train the model. Logmarithic. The way I always do it. Validation AU, AUC. Strategy random. Fit. And then... Best parameters. Okay, now we're going to fit it and train it. Okay, guys. Now, let me get into the Python files. Oh, and don't forget to save your code whenever you make a change to them over there. Okay, evaluate to uh, true. Okay. Do this just how it is, because if you don't, then you got to change everything else. Basically, what we're doing is we're reading the test path, and we're just doing the data set as it is. Okay, now let's go to the pipeline py, which is a bigger file. Make them all at this instance. Also, well, we pretty much covered the feature engineering with the other um, IPYMB file. And don't forget the code equals. 
pre-process pile fast from the S3 bucket. The model path equals the model path, wherever your model path is. Same thing, same metric. Just pipeline steps. And remember, we, you're only going to do two jobs just like you did two training jobs. Okay, you guys can name this whatever you want, and then don't forget your bucket name and all that. Okay. There's no other way around these. Okay, Pre-process. And you got to do it just like this. And just like this. And remember Y from the data set. The configuration file, they're all pretty much the same. Except for we don't need a header. Again, let's go through this again. Because we're getting into X and Y test, you got to do this. Let's go back to the pipeline. As you can see, it's pretty much defined. And it's still going. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you found this video very helpful. Stay tuned. Next time, we're going to build a convolutional neural network. And then next time, we're going to deploy something on AWS. I just haven't decided what yet.